Well, you have probably heard of a walkathon, maybe even taken part, or hit the floor in a dance-a-thon. But what people are doing in Victoria this week uh, may be a first. One after another, hundreds will climb the lectern at Christ Church Cathedral and will read the King James Version of the Bible, cover to cover. It is a Bible-thon. CTV's Andrew Johnson shows us why they're doing that and why you may not know everything you think you know about the Bible. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. With those words read by billions before him, the very Reverend Logan McMenemy may have uttered them for the first time to begin a Bible-thon. It's a happy birthday of sorts from Christ Church Cathedral to the King James Version of the Bible. 400 years ago, this book was published and billions of copies of it have been sold. How do you celebrate something that's a, a cultural treasure and a religious artifact? And what is the name thereof but a fool? The cathedral's planning committee put their heads together and decided to enlist volunteers to read the holy book from cover to cover over six days. To finish that quickly, there will be sometimes two people reading at once. We haven't heard of any other uh, activity like this in Canada. They hope you haven't either and might want to stop by, whatever your faith. I really hope that um, not only Christians come. I know in talking to other faith communities, especially our, our brothers and sisters in the Jewish faith, it's not being a kind book to them. And I'm, I'm hoping that, that by doing this, there's an opportunity to reach out. Even if you don't go to church or don't consider yourself religious at all, the influence of the King James Version of the Bible has likely crept into your life without you even knowing it. English language phrases like eye for an eye, turn the other cheek, or no rest for the wicked got their start in here. We're talking about the very beginning of the 17th century. Um, uh, Shakespeare is writing his plays at the same time. The English language is really coming into being as we know it now. It's very alive, it's new, it's, it, it's evolving, vocabulary is growing, rhythms of speech are changing. The Bible-thon rhythm this week will not. When one reader finishes, another will take their place. Some evenings, members of Blue Bridge Repertory Theatre will make dramatic presentations, and the Christ Church Cathedral Choir will sing psalms. If all goes as planned, the Holy Book will close Saturday night at 10. We had to make some educated guesses about how long it takes to read a page of the Bible. Take your time. After all, translating the King James Bible from Hebrew and Greek took more than seven years. Andrew Johnson, CTV News. Victoria.